Hello and welcome. In the context of operational excellence, a management system is a framework or set of practices that allows us to know on a daily basis whether we're on track or off track to meeting our goals. At the most basic level, a management system includes a routine for huddling as a team, a scoreboard to tell us whether we're winning or losing, and a playbook to guide corrective action and continuous improvement. Now, imagine that we're working successfully within such a daily management system. One day, something changes. We're asked to manage our team without three of the things we rely on to do our job. We can't physically go see how the work is going. We can't see people and read their body language or nonverbal cues. We lose the ability to ask how things are going through informal social interaction. In a way, this would be like trying to coach sports without going to the field to watch how the team performed. This is the situation that many managers and leaders are facing today. More and more people and organizations recognize the advantages of working from home, remote collaboration, and virtual teams. In fact, a majority of managers now deal with teams that are dispersed across multiple locations. This means we need a new and better way to manage, in spite of the disadvantages of remote work. In fact, there are four typical situations when a person needs to adopt a virtual management system. First, many organizations have geographically dispersed teams. They may be multi-site operations, teams with remote members, or organizations that must regularly collaborate with customers, suppliers, and other partners. In these cases, even organizations that work mainly in person can benefit from adopting a virtual management system. The second type is a business process team. By their nature, often some or all of the work of business processes is virtual. Even if a business process team is working in the same physical location, much of their work exists in the virtual or digital world. When this is the case, a virtual management system can be helpful in bringing people together to visualize their workflow and review their performance data. The third situation is when a new manager steps into a leadership role for the first time and has to learn how to lead in a virtual or remote setting. Preparing a virtual management system framework helps these new managers succeed as they step into their new roles. Fourth, Many leaders are being asked to make the change from managing face-to-face -face operations to a virtual team with team members working remotely. Even when leaders have an effective management system, many struggle to adapt it to the virtual and remote environment. Fortunately, advancements in technology, communication, and collaboration tools have made it easier than ever to be in constant touch with teams virtually. There are proven practices of a daily management system, such as daily huddles, visual dashboards, and problem solving that we can adapt to virtual and remote work environments. Following the steps to building and practicing a virtual management system can help leaders make this transition. However, doing this successfully requires that we understand the management system challenges unique to working in a virtual environment. We can view these challenges from the three perspectives of people, processes, and technology. In some ways, working as a virtual team requires that its leader and team members relearn how to communicate and connect with each other. Because we may be working in different places or even different time zones, communication is asynchronous and not immediate. We rely more on conference calls or email, but the lack of nonverbal cues such as facial expression and body language can lead to misunderstandings. The casual discussions, water cooler talk, and social interactions that can smooth over misunderstandings and build relationships may not be possible in virtual work environments. For these reasons, we need to take special care when forming virtual teams in order to foster trust and effective collaboration. Perhaps the biggest challenge of managing remote and virtual environments is that it's difficult to see what's going on. The process may not be visible because it's performed remotely, because it's knowledge work, or both. One of the first tasks of a virtual management system team is to understand the process, its inputs and outputs, and to use tools to make progress visible. Although technology plays an important role within a virtual management system, it's a mistake to start with technology or to consider it a solution. Instead, we recommend going through a step-by-step -step process to develop the system before investing in technology. 
This begins with forming the virtual team, stabilizing and standardizing the process, creating a virtual management dashboard, drafting an agenda, and practicing the cadence of reviews and process checks. Keeping things simple in the beginning allows teams to test out what does and doesn't work, take ownership of the system, and make changes. This allows the team to find or modify the available technology enablers for virtual collaboration. As we can see, a virtual management system is much more than using digital collaboration tools and video conferencing. Successfully managing in a virtual environment requires that we understand how to use these dashboards, a cadence of team reviews, the supporting behaviors, resulting actions, and decisions. That wraps up our review of virtual management systems. We'll see you soon.